Hello everyone, long time no see. I am the Real Blue Dragon and existence is super shit right now. You know, it just keeps getting worse. Everything is terrible all the time now. And so I thought I'd spend a little while today just chilling out with some P-Cross, Pit-Cross, however you want to pronounce it. <sighs> Let's just do like a chill, a chill video, you know. This is P-Cross 4, sorry, P-Cross S4 for the Nintendo Switch, the fourth game in the series. They have been churning these things out. I want to say this is like the fourth, the fourth Picross game in like less than two years. I'm not, I can't remember exactly when the first one came out, but I've I've bought all of them because I I love me some Picross. It's an excellent, excellent uh, puzzle game. If you are not familiar with how Picross works, you are about to find out. Alright, so <sighs> let's just let's just get on with it. All new puzzle, haven't touched this one. No. I've got all assists turned off. So, how Picross works, you are colouring in squares on a grid, but you are using numbers positioned around the outside of the grid to determine where those squares should be. So here's an example. This 13 here in the top left where it says 13, that is telling me 13 of the squares in this column need to be coloured in. Now I don't precisely know which 13 it needs to be but because it is, it's, it's one number it's not, you know, spread out over multiple numbers like 2, 2, 3 and 2 here. I know that they're all in one group. When numbers are split up like this, it means that the squares that need to be coloured in are split up into separate groups. So, which means there is at least one uncoloured square between each grouping of coloured squares. So, this grid is 15 by 15. And that means that by um, by you know by by by, um, by sheer logic we can determine that okay it doesn't matter you know where the 13 squares are going to be colored in no matter you know where they are we know that these squares will always be coloured in. So, if 13, if the group of 13 starts here, or if it starts here, or here, or here, it doesn't matter. These squares will always be coloured in. So we use that. So, and it starts here. So in this row, you can see 14 of the 15 squares on this row need to be coloured in. Now. We already know that the leftmost square should be coloured in. So we can use that to know for certain that this last square should be left uncoloured. And what we can do, we can slowly go down this column of coloured squares and figure it out. So the first group of coloured squares is going to be three. So. And again, because the leftmost square we know is definitely coloured in, we can use that as a starting point. And because there is always at least one uncoloured square between every group, we can always mark the very next square afterwards as empty. You see here, 15. This entire row is coloured in. No exceptions. So we can just go ahead and fill all of that in see four two three four oh this entire row as well 
Typically this game gives you, uh, it, this game is very lenient, it's got lots of uh, assists, uh, lots of options for people, you know, who are either new to this style of puzzle game or who have not played much of this puzzle game before. Uh, they offer like different assists so the, you can activate a, uh, a roulette at the start of every puzzle where it will randomly fill in a single column and row of the puzzle. Uh, you can uh, tell it to uh, warn you about mistakes. So, uh, if you were to colour in a, a wrong square, the game would say, "Hey, no, that's a mistake. You know, don't colour that in." And uh, there's also a help uh, mode where any column or row that it perceives as being possible to um, logically figure out some coloured in squares, it will highlight those columns and rows for you. It'll say, hey, we think we think it might be possible to, you know, figure out some stuff on this row and this column. Perhaps you'd like to, you know, check this column out. It doesn't tell you exactly what squares to colour in, but it does tell you that there's definitely something you can do in this area. But I have turned all of those off because I'm hardcore. <laughs> no, not really. I've just... I didn't mean to colour that in, but, you know. See, look, had I had the um, mistake notification helper turned on, the game would have told me, hey, you shouldn't have coloured that square in, but... I've got to figure that myself out. I've got to figure that out myself. But yeah, it's just I've been playing Picross games for years. So. Oh, there's another 15. But let's fill in that three again. This is going to be an easy one. Typically, by this point, the games should be introducing harder puzzles for you. But I guess we seem to have started on quite an easy one despite its size because it's, it's it's very rare that you get entire columns and rows just immediately filled in at the start of a puzzle it's you know Ooh, nope didn't mean to do that there we go that's better so so that column is finished right. so because we've um, filled in the second to last square at the bottom here, we know that it is impossible for this square to be coloured in, so we can go ahead and mark that as empty. You don't have to mark squares as empty, you only have to um, colour in the coloured squares. Marking the squares as, you know, with a little X is just a way of reminding you which ones you need to leave empty. Alright, and we, by this we can tell we've already coloured in 12 squares on this column. So we can go ahead and mark the rest of those. This single square here is uh, obviously cannot be filled by either of these groups of two colours. So, colours, coloured squares. So we're going to go ahead and mark that as empty. Which leaves just this one square down the bottom, which we can then get rid of. And... Okay, you see how on the left there, the, the coloured squares are in groups of four ones. So each coloured square is by itself with at least one uncoloured square between them. With that, we can um, figure out that, okay, since every coloured square on this row is going to be by itself, we can go ahead and mark the squares either side of this one as empty. This is such a great puzzle game. This puzzle series has, well, I say series, it's more like this, this style of puzzle game has been around for decades. Uh, the earliest, the earliest um, <clears throat> video game form of this puzzle that I'm aware of is a... Uh, <clears throat> Mario Picross for the um, original Game Boy. I don't think there are any 
video game versions of this style of puzzle game before that. And for a very long time, it would seem to be only, only Nintendo who was putting these out. Okay, so we can see so that these are definitely ones. And these are definitely twos. Alright, so you can figure that out. Block that in. Okay. So you're basically you're, you're just using the um, the combination of numbers around the outer edge and uh, which squares you've already marked or coloured in to basically logic out the locations for all the remaining squares. Oh, no, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So, the last square here is a mystery. Is it all the way down the bottom or is it all the way up the top? We do not know as of yet. This entire row is done, so we can oops, keep hitting the wrong button. Go ahead and mark all of those. The two is on the right and most edge here, so we can go and mark that. And it looks like there are four single ones. So one, two, three, four. There's just enough room for that, so that's good. There we are. <sighs> okay, according to this column, it's going to go one, two, then the three. And the three is already there, so that means we can go ahead and mark that as a two. And that mark that as a one. We can go single out all the individual coloured squares by themselves. And these columns. Got this right column here. Finish that out. That's obviously a two. Split that off. We've filled that, we've marked that square. So we've got to go up here and now fill that in. That finishes that column, which also finishes this row. So we'll go ahead and mark that. We can go ahead and logically declare these squares. empty which means we can fill these in to finish that column and then we've got three left on this row so we can fill those in and then we can mark those off uh oh no that was a mistake that's meant to be a three there we are there's three gaps here for the three coloured squares there. Two, two, and two. You can see as I'm as I'm um, confirming or like uh, or um, squares filling in and uh, marking them off either side with uh, crosses. It's actually uh, ghosting out the individual numbers around the edge to let me know that those groups of coloured squares have been accounted for. And I only need to worry about the ones that are in bold. Bold black. So, one, two, three. Okay. So, we've got five. Okay. If I block that off. Okay, we have four individual squares left. So, one, two, three, four. Mmm. No, this mm, can't quite work that one out yet, so we've got to go elsewhere. Let's see, there's some twos up here we can do. That column is done. Okay, there's five empty squares here that we can just straight up fill in. These columns are done, and that leaves four empty squares for us to fill. And that is Picross. It is a great little, uh, it's, a, it's a great puzzle game. There seems to be an explosion of, um, 
of uh, new Picross games over the last couple years on uh, phones, iOS and Android. Um, not all of them are good, some of them are okay. Uh, the overwhelming majority of them are poorly made and have shitty puzzles. But uh, I wish I could remember the name of some of the better ones. Ideally, in a Picross puzzle, you you shouldn't have to guess anything. There should be zero guessing. You should be able to logically figure out the location of every coloured square using nothing but the um, the numbers around the outside and you know relative to the position of any squares already coloured in or marked as definitely empty. Any Picross game which gives you puzzles which are impossible to solve without guessing is a bad Picross game. You should not be guessing. And I have played some... some... Oh, some Picross games on iOS that have definitely done that. We go straight to this this row because this row is entirely filled out. That's the obvious go to immediately. And these 13 and 1s will fill the entire row because it's. That means it's 13, empty, and 1. There's no other way to put that in. Alright, so that, same goes for this row here. So that is solved. Alright. So there's nine, so we can we are okay. So we can logically say that the the group of nine uh, must start at least from here. It could start here, but we don't know that for sure. We only have the information to start from here. So what we're going to do? We're going to pretend that we put one there in our heads. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're gonna stop there. And we know that there's one missing square, so we're gonna skip over this square and then fill in the rest of this column like that. Because logically, the only the one remaining coloured in square can only be here or here, but we don't know which yet. We'll have to come back to that. And it looks like we've finished bunch more rows here, so I'm gonna... Oh, nope. Just account for that, then we're gonna go up here and account for all these ones at the top here. Okay. Now, these last two squares have to be filled in because of the two and that helps us finish off the nine so we can now mark that square as empty and mark those as empty okay so let's work in our way down fill that three in so we've got two ones and a seven so two three four five six seven empty empty Two, three, empty. Two, three, empty. Two, three, empty. Two, three, empty. There we go. Two, three, empty. Two, empty. Empty. Two, three, empty. Okay. That finishes off that row. We know this one is by itself. This entire row is done. Okay. We know these single squares are useless to us on these rows, so we can go ahead and fill those in. Uh, this column is one left, so we're gonna go ahead and fill the one remaining empty space, which lets us block that off. Okay, got a two and a one. 
we know there has to be at least one empty space between those, so we can go ahead and put the two there. But we don't know which of these two the one goes in yet, so we're going to leave that. However, this is two groups of two, so we can go ahead and fill those in. Off. Two, three, four, five, six. Pop that off. This row is also done. These columns are done. This column is also done. That makes that done. And we've got one left, which is here. That's that puzzle finished. That's apparently an air conditioner. Okay. I believe you. Right. <sighs> Next puzzle. It is quite common for me to enter something of a zen state when I play these games for extended periods of time because you just you just enter what can only be described Like I said, a Zen state, where it's just any external um, stimulus just disappears and you just focus entirely on the logic problem. It's a really good way to unwind. So we can use that to our advantage to help us figure out these numbers. That's definitely a 4. That's also the start of a 10. So we can go ahead and fill that in. Okay. 2, 2, 2, 3, 4. Fourteen down here. Big old fourteen. That's a six. That's a nine. Go ahead and block those off. Because we know the nine will never be able to reach here since it starts all the way over here. This is another fourteen, so we can go ahead and fill most of that row in. These columns are done. Hmm. Three, four, five, and a one. We can block that off. Okay. Five, two, three. Fill that. That's definitely part of that three, so we can go ahead and fill that and fill that. That's nothing. Fill in that five, which finishes that row off. Okay. That's done, that's done. Let's see. Three, four, five, six. That row is done, this row is done. Done. This column is done. So is this one. Hmm. Fill that in. Fill that in. Alright, and all we have left are a few ones in the middle here. So we can't figure that out because we don't know which one of these two squares it's going to be in. Same goes for this. Same goes for this. Same goes for this. Let's try the columns. Hmm. Hmm. 
interest. Oh wait, no, we've uh, we forgot to block out this row here. So this row is definitely finished. There we go, and that this column is also finished, and this row is also finished. Yeah, make sure you um, account for any squares that you know uh, must be empty. It helps you figure out. Definitely helps figure out. Helps you figure out the locations for the last few remaining colored squares. So, there we go. That two must be there, which means that these rows are finished, which means that the one must go there, which means that's finished, and the one, the last remaining, must go here. Like I said, you should never have to guess. You should be able to logic out every move. You should never have to guess in this game. If you're if if a Picross game makes you forces you to guess, then that's a bad Picross game. Okay, fifteen. There we go. Straight away. And we can do these two side columns here because they do eleven. And we could block that last one off. So we know there's only three more squares to be coloured for that. from the sides. Block, 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 block. Same from this side. Block, 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 block. Okay, and a six. That row is done. Hmm. So we know that's definitely a two. And this one up here is definitely a four. And from that we can ascertain that we can colour in these three as part of that group of five. We know that the group of three down here can't reach this square, so we can mark that as definitely empty. There's a column of 14 here, so we'll go ahead and fill that in. Let's fill that eight, fill that four, and that eight. Four is done. That one can't be filled, so block that off. Okay, we're going to do this one. That's definitely by itself, so fill those in to account for that. That two is by itself. Same goes for this two. Same goes for this two. Hmm. That's the location. So I finish that three. That two is finished. So is this column. So we can go ahead and block out the rest of that column. Upstairs neighbours are being loud again. I hope you can't hear them. Hmm. That 14 is finished, so which means so is this row. <sighs> okay. Alright, we know that all these ones here are by themselves on these rows, so we can go ahead and block those, finish that five, which means that seven is also finished, finish that three, these are ones which are by themselves, that's an eight, add that to the eleven, These, uh, these last few puzzles have been easier than I was expecting. Kind of expecting the game to throw me some hard ones at this point, now that I'm almost halfway through the entire 
you know, list of regular puzzles it has. But that's okay. It might just be, a, you know, because I've played these puzzle games so much, I just might just be... I might be... I might be pretty good at solving these puzzles, I don't know, that might just be because of me rather than the game. Here we go. What is that? An electronic organ. So like a keyboard then. What's the difference between an electronic organ and a keyboard? Not much, I imagine. The sort of person who would uh, distinguish between a keyboard and an electronic organ is probably not the sort of person who would be much fun talking to anyway. Is that okay? Oh, oh hey, nice keyboard. Um, excuse me, it's not a keyboard, it's actually an electronic organ. Recognise it? Fun guy at parties. Alright, we're going to finish off this row of puzzles, then we're going to go and check out another mode in this game. No, we do not want to use the roulettes. This entire bottom row is a 15, so we're obviously going to start there. So let's fill these in. There was a great um, uh, Picross game for the uh, original DS and a sequel for the 3DS called uh, Picross 3D. Which, as you can imagine, created three-dimensional um, Picross puzzles. And those games are excellent. If you have an old DS or 3DS lying around somewhere and you want a fun puzzle game that has never really truly been replicated anywhere else yet, uh, try and grab a, an old copy of Picross 3D because damn, I spent a very long time playing those games. The first one especially, oh my god, Picross 3D, incredible puzzle game. If I put one there, then that would leave us three empty spaces to try and figure out where to put the last one. And since you can logically put two single coloured squares in this, you know, in this three empty space here, there's no logical reason why yet that we would have to put one there. So, because it's possible to put two here, we can't logically put any anywhere yet. Okay, we can do that. That works. There we go. And that column is done. Eight, nine. That's done. These two must be connected. Which means that everything... Oh, no. Leave a two gap either side to account for the leftover squares. That's a one, that's a seven. Okay, these are definitely empty because the columns say that this column must start with a four and a three at the top, so those are definitely empty, which means we have to colour in these. And that's done. You see what I mean? As as you as you go through the puzzle, parts of the puzzle that are you know, 
you can't figure out before very quickly come into focus and you think, oh wait, yes, placing this here lets me figure out this over here, which in turn lets me figure out this over here. So, hmm. I'm probably going on about it a little bit much at this point. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. One, two. Block the rest of those out. Oh, this entire row is done. So is that column. So is that column. So is that column. Oh, sorry, row, I mean. Go. That's done. That's done. That's done, which means it must go there. Okay. What is that? Some sort of temple? Pyramid of the Sun. There we go. Got a clip pick cross piece. So what happens is every time you finish a row in the main Picross mode, and every time you finish a page in the main Picross mode, you earn bonus pieces for the clip Picross, which are extra, extra, extra large pictures made up of multiple puzzles. Each uh, series of clip Picross images is based on a uh, on a different fairy tale. So uh, here in um, Picross S four, the Images are based on the Wizard of Oz. As you can see, each individual, I mean, it's, it doesn't fill up the entire picture entirely, which I think is a bit of a missed opportunity, but you can see most of the image is made up of different puzzles. So here it says we've got 19 pieces to figure out in this bigger piece here. Okay, there it is. Ooh, this is a big one. This is a 4 by 3 No. Wow, okay, this is a... This is a big boy. Alright, so we're going to start with this 14. Logically block off these to solve that. Okay. And we can expect that to be filled in. We don't know which of these two is going to be the other coloured in square for the group of two, but we do know that no matter what, this middle one must be filled in. So. Seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That column is done. So that is done, that is done. Okay. That must be a one. Logically, this one cannot be coloured in because the topmost group can only be one big, so. If it's not that one, then it, you know, it can logically, it, it can be this one, but it can't be this one. If it's not this one. If this is part of the ten, then this one must be the one. Not this one, because otherwise you would leave no room for the one, because this would be part of the ten if you were to put it there. Okay, that's a thirteen. So this entire column is accounted for. those are the only ones we can guarantee must be coloured in. Same goes for these. Whoops. What am I doing? I'm in the wrong spot. I'm going to go here. There we go. Right. It's figured out. Okay, there's a ten and a four, which means this entire column is accounted for. It's a five, that was 
must be a two. That was a four. Whoop, no. Four. This group, this unfinished group of ten down here can't possibly reach up to this one, so this must be by itself, which makes that the one, which means we can fill that in. These ones are by themselves. So what I just did there, um, if you start, if, if you um, map out theoretically from either side of an empty area, so we're going to start from here to here, if you map out, say, from the far left and the far right of an empty row, so you've got a three and a one, so if we go one, two, three, empty, one, and one, two, three, Sorry, and one empty one two three this square both times this is the only square that has been accounted for as being part of the same group of colored squares so we know because of that we know for a fact that this must this square must be colored in because it is part of the three what we don't know is is does the three start here or end here does it start at the left and finish here or does it start here and end with this square because logically it could be either this could be the three which means we would put the the one there or this could be the three which means this would be the one but for now we do not know all we know is that this square here we can fill in it's a little advanced tactic there for helping you trying to figure out some possibilities and we've just figured it out so this this was the three that was the one, so... There we go. So, because this is already a group of six, and this is go eventually going to be a group of seven, we can safely say that this square here is not meant to be coloured in, because if we coloured in this square, it, this would then become a group of eight, and this row does not have a group of eight. It, the biggest it gets is seven, so we can safely assume that must be empty, and that this must be the square we colour in to make the seven. Which means we can say that that's definitely empty, and that's the other half of the two. And we can finish that entire row. Okay. Hmm. Getting down to it. Okay. 
we can safely say that that must be empty, that must be part of the three, two, three, four, five. That row is also done. Mm -hmm. That must be one by itself. We don't know if it's, the, you know, which one it is, but it's definitely a one. Block that off. This column is done. That's definitely a two. That column is done, which means that must be a two. Almost that row is done. Yeah, this one's definitely a little bit harder than the ones we've been doing before. Uh, these two columns are also done. And that must be filled in, which also fo uh, f helps finish off this last column over here on the right. Same goes for that. These are definitely filled in. That's not big enough, which means it's over here. We can block that, which lets us fill in that. Counted for and done and finished. Hmm. Okay. This empty space of four over here is perfect for our one and two. So we can go one, space, one, two. Not so much for this empty five. Although we can, like we did before, we can figure out at least one of these squares must be coloured in. So if we go one, empty, one, two, and one, two, empty, one, this square over here both times was part of the group of two. So we can safely assume that must be coloured in. Okay, one, two, zero, one, two, one, two, zero, one, two, there group of three, so we can definitely assume that that is coloured in. That can be blocked off, which means that can be coloured in, which means that can be coloured in, which means that can, and that can, and that can, and that, and that. Done. Figured out. Okay, uh, hmm. I'm assuming that's the head of the Tin Man right there. I don't know what he's doing. I'm trying to remember what happens in The Wizard of Oz. What happens after Dorothy and her friends leave the Emerald City? Like, what's, what's... I don't know if this is following the movie or following the book. For all I know, this is... This image here is going to be like, oh, it's something that they cut out of the you know, the book when they were making the movie. Alright, let's try a different one. Let's try a colour Picross. Colour, this is the second game in which the, uh, the colour Picross puzzles have been included. It's harder than a normal Picross. Don't worry, I've played these before. There are fewer of them, but they are harder. And they are slightly different to standard Picross. No, nope, I already know. I am the tutorial. Okay. Okay, so, yep, fill colour. Mark as empty. Change, okay, yeah, so change colours and apply colour filter. Ooh. Simple is fine. Nope. Oh, that's what that does. Okay, yeah, so I've just accidentally... Colour filter is the same as the... Um, the, uh, the helper from the standard Picross. By activating that, you see that little check mark that has appeared on that, on that square in the, in the top left of the HUD. That's letting me know that I have used that, uh, that help, and therefore have forfeited my, my no assist uh, star, which is a bummer. Anyway, 
The Colour Picross games work a little bit differently. As you can tell, we are clearly colouring in squares rather than, you know, lots of different colours rather than just a single black and white image. So, <clears throat> let's start with the basics. So this top row here, you can see on the left, has four green squares and only four green squares. So we can use a button to cycle between different colours. And, we can, and since green is the only colour on this row, we can treat it just like we would treat this scenario in a standard Picross puzzle. So logically, it must be these three. We don't know if it's this one or this one to complete the four, but we know that these three must be part of it. And as you can see, that has accounted for two ones on the, in these columns. So the center, the center column only has two green. And it works the same in a standard um, pit cross puzzle. Okay, more bad things happening. Not surprised. Uh, so we can assume. So if, if if it's one number, it means it's one group. When the numbers are split up, it's separate groups. But there's a there's a slight difference to that in this mode, which I'll get to. So let's just finish that group. So you see how here you got a single green one and another single green one. So we can assume that there's at least one gap there and then we can safely go green, white, pink. But here's the difference. You can only assume gaps between groups of the same colour. So you see, even though the pink one, the white one and the green one are technically listed as separate groups on the top, because they're different colours, you they don't need gaps between them. You only put gaps between groups of the same colour. That's the difference. So we can safely assume that row is done. There's nothing to the left of that green group, so we can safely assume that is empty, which leaves two empty spaces here and here, which means we can safely block that and then fill that. And then we can fill that, block those, and then fill those, and we're done. And I have no idea what that is. Is that cherries? It looks like cherries. It is. It's cherries. Great. It's getting dark in here. Hmm. I might turn the light on in a second. I like how the um, the finished puzzle. Um, thumbnails are animated in the Colour Picross galleries. I wish all of the um, the finished uh, the thumbnail, you know, the completed thumbnails for all of the Picross puzzles were animated like this. It, looks, it just kind of looks nice, you know. Alright, we'll do a couple more of these coloured ones. Play this puzzle. Yes, this one's a little bit bigger. No. Let's try and keep our no assist uh, star this time, shall we? Okay. So. Let us start down here with this row. So we've got a yellow, a brown, a brown, and another yellow. But like I said, there's no gaps between groups of different colours, but there are gaps between groups of the same colour. And since there's four groups there, and this grid is five across, but the two centre ones are the same colour, we can safely assume that that's a gap and these two are brown. And the same goes for this column here. It's the exact same combination of colours. So we can safely assume that. Alright. And then we can put a yellow here. And then we can safely put a brown there and block those off. Nope, didn't want to do that. Put a blue there, and then a light blue there. We can put another blue here. Since we, you, 
uh, just because you don't have to have gaps between groups of the same color, uh, groups of different colors, does not mean there can't be gaps between groups of the same, uh, between groups of different colors. As we can see here, even though these two groups are different colors, they can still they can still have a gap between them. So don't treat that as oh, you know, they must be right next to each other. It's not true. Still put gaps there. Okay, we do not know if it's that one or that one that's going to be. Actually, we do, since this row does not have any remaining yellow squares, which means this must be it, which means this must be empty and this must be coloured in. And that looks like a diamond ring to me. At least I think it is. It's very low res. It is a ring. Look at it sparkle. Okay, no, no thank you. I'll tell you what, I, sh I should probably just do a hint roulette just so I can show you what it does at some point. Um, I'll tell you what, we're going to do a really hard puzzle after this one and we will use uh, some assists for that one just so I, not that I need them, but just so I can show you what they look like I guess. Because I can always redo them afterwards without the assists to get my... What am I doing? Um, I'm trying to play it like a normal Picross puzzle there, that's wrong. Okay, so we know there's definitely one there and there's definitely one there. We do not know for sure anywhere else. Okay. four squares must be coloured in no matter what the no matter what the um, formation of the groups. Okay, since the dark blue and the light blue are accounted for we can safely assume these are empty. room to put the group of two light blues so we can safely assume that's just empty. This one is tricky. Nothing to the right of those. Okay, so we can assume that that's done. That must be a light blue. That must be a blue. That's the other half of the two. Fill that in. Okay, that row is done. All right. Hmm. 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 Uh oh. Um. No, that's wrong. That that shouldn't be there. 
this entire row is singles. There are no twos in this group. Okay, um, hmm. Alright, where did I go wrong? Um, hmm. Okay, now that must be a light blue. Which means that's a gap. That's a gap. We don't know where the light blue goes here. Okay, it makes more sense to put the dark blue there. And then the light blue there. Okay. Alright, okay. Lock those off. Okay, that's that finishes that group of three. This is, yeah, these, these coloured ones are no joke. These are definitely harder than a standard Picross puzzle. That finishes that seven. But we don't know which of these, these three put the light blue in, so... That must be part of the group. That must be also... No, because there will definitely be a gap. Okay. These two are definitely part. So that's done, that's done. Okay, there's not enough room for that group of two, so we can safely assume it's there. Yeah, we should block that in, which means we can fill that in, which finishes that row. Um, which means we can fill these in. Alright. room now to finish this column. Finish that row. Finish that column. Finish that column. Finish that column. Uh, that's done and that's done. That's done and that's done. Okay. That one was a little bit tricky. It's an hourglass, apparently. Okay, yep, yeah, I see it. Alright, yep. Yeah. Wasn't quite sure at first, but yep, yeah, okay. I see it now. <laughs> Alright, let's try something a little harder, shall we? Let's go down to extras, where they've got these extra hard puzzles. Some of which are only unlockable if the if you own previous Picross S games. Which I have the previous three, so I get the three extra puzzles. So I've already done one. These are much harder than the standard Picross puzzles as well, because they are much bigger. Yeah, this is a six by six. Hmm. These are serious, so. What we're going to do though, we're going to turn on the assists and I can show you how they work. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the hint roulette, which is one of the assists, and that will randomly pick a row and column to fill in. Alright, so those are done. And what we can do, we can activate the guide. So it'll highlight all the rows and columns blue, which the game thinks you can, it, it's possible to logic out the positions of um, squares to colour in. So anything that's not, that's not um, highlighted blue means that you can't really figure out what needs to be coloured in without guessing. Okay, so let's start all the way... Ooh, ooh this, this leftmost column looks promising. So we can figure this out. We go one, gap, one, gap, one, two, gap, one, two, three, gap, one, gap, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's assume that is definite. Gap, one, gap, one, two, gap, one, two. Right, one, two, gap, one, two, gap, one, gap, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so these three definitely colored in, which means this group of four here is definitely part of that group of six. Okay, so start again, gap one. Gap one, two, three. All right, just double check. One, one, two, gap, one, two, three. So yeah, this, from both directions, this square is, is a part of the group of three. So that's definitely colored in. And you see when we exhausted the squares that we can logically figure out in that column, it stopped highlighting that column. It let us know like, hey, you've, you've found all the squares you can find right now. That is what it is telling us. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. Okay. What is this? Five, ten, fifteen. All right, so one, two, zero, one, zero, one, two. I say zero to um, to mean uh, empty. That's what I mean when I say zero. I right, start again. One, two, zero, one, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. All right. Guaranteed, accounted for. These squares are definitely coloured in. Six, seven, eight. We don't know uh, what that one is yet. Okay. Okay, so these four definitely are part of the group. So it means that we can block off that square there, block off that square. Five, six, seven. Hmm. Six, zero, one. Fits that like a glove. There we go. All right, so six, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just assume. Okay, that apparently is the only one we can color in. Let's. Let's confirm that first before we leave. Three, zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's the only one. Okay, disappointing, but okay. Six, seven. I'm just gonna assume that one's as a marker, just so I don't lose my place. Zero, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Zero, one, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, so the seven from this, from the right side, ends the square before the end of the seven from the left side. So we cannot assume that this is colored in. So we have to delete that. We have to. It might be coloured in the final picture, but we don't know for sure. We cannot logically assume it. So, for now, we'll have to leave that empty. 11, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to just leave that as a placeholder. 0, or a marker. 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is... This is... What, what am I doing? Okay. So those four for that group of five, that group of four, 
that one, that group of four, and this eleven. Here we go. Oh, this is a giant puzzle. This is a really big one. Seven, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Apparently, we can still work out more. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And we it stopped highlighting the row because we've got everything for now. Of the three um, types of uh, assist this game has, the uh, the um, let's call it the possibility highlighter. That's a good that's a good descriptive name for it. The possibility highlighter is probably the single most useful of the three um, assists. The, uh, you know, the random row and column completion is nice, but the fact that the game just tells you, hey, these rows and columns are where you can figure shit out, that's... It helps speed, speed, speed it up, especially with these extremely large puzzles. Okay... Nineteen... Zero... One, two, mm -hmm. That's a puzzler! Hmm, interesting. One, two, zero, one, zero, one, two. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely not. There's no groups of three, so. This can't be part of the group of two because that would make a group of three. So this, Jesus. Okay. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Okay, and it only needs three extra squares to become nineteen. So we're not. We can't fill in both of these because then it will become twenty. A group of twenty if it comes up to here. So this, no matter what, must be left empty. Okay. Which means... There is no group of one, it goes from a 19 and then it's a 2. The 1 is after the 2. And this cannot be the 2, so therefore it must be part of the 19. So we're going to say the 19 is here. 19, which means it ends there. Which means I can assume that is the group of 19. All right, which means that is the two. That is the mm, might be the one. That might be a gap, and, but that is definitely coloured in as part of the other group of two. Okay, okay. This row starts with a seven, so this group of four is worthless to us. But that's all we can figure out right now. That's all we can figure out there right now. Zero, one, two, three, four. Zero, one, zero, one, two. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Zero, one, zero. Okay, so let's just assume it's one, two, zero, one, zero. We can't possibly fit the seven anywhere in there because of this gap. So we're going to start the seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and that's all we can figure out there. Working our way up. It really is, it's just doing this, this, um, it's, would you call it a probability calculation? I guess it is probability because you're basically singling out the squares only the squares that have a hundred percent chance of being filled, right? So that is, I guess that is that is a a probability 
thing. So yeah, sure, we'll call it a probability calculation. Why not? I'm sure there's probably a better name for it. One, zero, one, two, but it's next to a filled in one, so we're going to assume that might be part of the two. So start zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three, four. I'm going to put that as a marker. Assume that's part of the five and move on. One, two. One, two, zero. One, two, three, four, five. Zero, one, two, three, four. The four ended before the other four, so we're going to delete that. So that single square is the only thing we can figure out in that entire row. Excellent. One, zero, one, two, zero, one. Zero, one, two, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, one, two, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's that. Oh boy, making our way up. One, two, zero, one, two, three. Zero. One, two, three, four. Place a marker. Temporary marker. Zero. One, zero, one. Zero, one, two, three, four. Mark that. So the two squares I've added are theoretically the ends of the fours. And it's gone dark, which means... Okay, let's start the other side. One, two, zero, one, zero. One, two, three, four. Okay. Zero, one, zero, one. Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so the ends of the fours are the only squares we can do. Two more. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Marker. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Marker. Zero, one, two. Okay. One, zero, one, two, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, okay. The only guaranteed squares. That starts with a four, so we can block that. The four could never start there because then you end up with a group of five and there is no group of five. Four. Zero. One, two, three, four. Marker. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Zero. One, two, three, four. No, definitely not in there. One, two, three, four. So the four has to be in this little gap back over here, which means we can do our own. So these two are definitely filled in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Zero, one, two, three, four, which means that is not guaranteed. So we're gonna get rid of that one. All right. Oh, all of the horizontal probabilities have been figured out. Oh boy get on to the let's get on to the verticals shall we let's do this far far left column one zero one two zero one two zero one zero one two zero one two three four five I'm gonna assume that's just the five okay yeah look at any um I mean, could you do the five? One, two, three, four, five, zero, one, zero. No, there's not enough room to put the five and both ones south of the uh, the blocker. So the five must be here. Okay. Six 
works there. We can immediately block that out because that six is the biggest group in that column. So we can automatically just assume that's done. That's there. basic probability uh, uh, figuring out here three four five so that's definitely okay, One, two, okay no, that's that. right back to the grind here we go one zero one zero one two zero one two three zero one okay that's done. can't add anything to that that's the six one Zero one two zero one two one two zero one two. That's part of that. All right. Okay. Five zero one two three. Shit. One two three zero one two three four five. Next one is eight, and the eight is already accounted for, so we can skip past that. That's that one. We've got three ones. One. also be one zero one zero so we don't know the top two but we can definitely account for the bottom one block in the rest of that four because we know it must exist same with this two okay same with that two all right this looks like this is part of the nine because it's bigger than a four and it's possible so that's a six, seven, eight, nine. Block that in, which means this must be the three, and that must be the last one. And we got one, two, three, four, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, making progress. This is honestly uh, bigger and taking longer than I initially assumed it would. Oh dear, let's just try and do some more obvious, just little bits here and there. There must be definitely be a one there. Counts for that one. Three. I don't know if it's one or a two, it might be one. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Definitely blocked. Which means that's definitely part of it. That's definitely part of the two. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that has to be part of the three. Which means that's definitely the two, and that's the one. Okay. Has to be a one. That's a two. That's a one. That's definitely a one. Okay. Boy, if I'm making any mistakes here, it's going to be impossible to track them down. Well, not impossible, but close enough to impossible that it's just better off for me to just start from scratch. And I hope that I don't have to start from scratch, because that would suck. It's a three. Okay, that entire column is done now. The 19 column is done. Woof. Okay. Alrighty then. So we got the two, one there, the one there. 
block that one, block that one, and then we've got a one here. Closer, okay, the more we do, the faster we will get. It's gonna be a little bit slow right now, but as we get closer to finishing this puzzle, we will move faster because it'll be easier to figure out more of the solution at a time. Three, zero, one, two, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one, two, yep, that's that. See what's happening here. That's different. Okay, that's blocked that off. Alrighty then. Actually, we can we can block off a very large chunk of these rows because the only number left is a three, which means there's a very large amount of these rows that it can't possibly colour in. Okay, which means then we can go down here and say a three can't fit in there. Five can't fit in there, a four can't fit in there, nope. A six can't fit in there, and a three can't fit in there. We can go back and say no, 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 and that's no, no, no. All right, great, that cuts out a lot of that. This is definitely those. No, no. Wait, shit. Okay. Four. One. Two. That's part of the two. Okay. Uh, this one's broken up again. What has this one found? So we've got two spaces for a two there. One, two, three. Zero, one. one, zero, one, two, three. That's what it found. Okay. Nope, that's bad. Uh, no, that has to be the three, which means that has to be the four. Yeah, all right. All right, very very slowly taking shape here and it is getting very dark in here right now but you can still see me thanks to the monitors um 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put a marker down. Zero, one, zero. One, two, three. Zero, one. Oh, shit. All right, we don't know that for sure. Okay, so we've got, definitely got... Put the one there. We've got the three. Let's assume one, zero, one, zero. One, two, three. Zero, one, zero. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what else is there to discover? It's everything, surely. Five, zero, one, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, zero, one. Definitely has to be a one. Okay, that's that's what it was waiting for. It's waiting for me to block off that that one. Okay, I get you. So that's six zero one two three four zero one two three zero one zero one two three four. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's what it was waiting for. Yeah, okay, that's correct. That is correct. Hmm. Hmm. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all it can figure out right now. Fair enough. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's done. Okay, starts with a five, so that can't be there. So one, two, three, four, five, zero, one. something I haven't figured out in this column. One, two, three, zero, one, zero. One, two, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay. It is perfectly possible to complete this puzzle without this uh, assistance, but man, yeah, as long as it's taking me now, it would take you even longer. Even longer without this assistance. The, uh, the possibility highlight highlighters. One, two, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, that's the end of that one from that side. One, okay, sixteen. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Okay. Block that in. That must be the second two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, okay, we're figuring, the, figuring this out. We are getting there. 
one, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna assume it's a four. Four. Boy, that's a little bit sloppy. Um, one, two, zero, one, oh, one, zero, one, two. Okay. I'm not sure about that one. We'll come back to that one. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not happy about this four I put in earlier. It's a sloppy four. I'm just not happy about that. Let's take those out for now. It seemed correct, but I, I, I did it in a... Um, a sloppy and impatient way, which tends to create mistakes, so I'm going to pull that out again. Um, Alright, one, two, three, zero. One, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four, zero, five. Okay, zero. One, two, three, zero, one, two. Just placeholder. One, two, zero. One, two, three, zero. <sighs> One, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four, zero, five. Maybe. I mean, sure. Wait, that's... Okay. Sure. Sure. Yes, yeah, that's correct on this row, so we're gonna, we're gonna put that in there. This entire column is all ones, so we can just do this immediately. One, two, three, four. It starts with a five on the right-hand side, so we're gonna get rid of that gap of four, and then fill in this gap here to make a five. That's definitely a one there. Okay. <laughs> we can fill that there. Six, seven. Okay. No, that's that's that has to be the three because nothing else will fit. So okay. That's the three there. That has to be a one. All right, all right, we are making progress. I will believe it. If it's lying to me, I'm going to be very disappointed. That is a two. I'm going to assume that's that middle two. Okay. Alrighty then. I'm going to 
assume that's that. fours so we can assume that that's a f that and that's the other four all right things are speeding up now ten uh oh oh no that what that was the ten there that's ten there we go filling that one in would have made it eleven whoops um three four Okay. I can block all that off. All right. Okay. We are cooking. Two, three, four, five, six, four. That row is finished. than halfway. One, and then we can finish this far. Uh oh, no, something is wrong. Something is wrong, something is not right. Okay. Okay, right. When the entire, um, when the um, the numbers of the column or the row go completely black after you've already partially figured it out, that's a way of the game letting you know that no, you fucked up. It doesn't make sense anymore. Something is bad. Something you've done is very bad.
Three. Okay, that entire bottom chunk of rows is finished. That's done. No. Okay, what do we got? That's empty. That's empty. That's been accounted for. It's just this one. Uh, that has to be the one by itself because you couldn't fit a three and a one in there, so... Right, that second chunk of rows has been finished. All right, getting somewhere. That's that two. That's done. The third chunk of rows has been finished. We've officially... Yeah, this, this entire bottom half of the grid is done. I have to worry about that shit anymore. Oh my god. We're getting there. We're getting there. I can block that off. That's done. One, zero, one, zero. One, two. Okay, I'm going to assume that's just the two. And that's the four. And that's the five. One goes there. Block that nine. Put the one in there, block off that three. Fill in that three, block off that two. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. You're accounted for. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Interesting. So that has to be the one and the one. That has to be oops. The nine. Which means we fill those in. Definitely without hesitation. Okay. What have we got? One, two, zero. One, two, three, four. One, one, zero. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's accounted for. Okay. Finish that three. assume that and that are both ones by themselves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that, that is just that's just a body of eight. That's just done. Okay, block that shit off. Alright, that column is done.
Finish that seven. Finish that six. That one goes there. That one goes there. Zero, four, zero, two, zero. End fast approaches. One zero, one, two, three, four, zero, one, two. We can't fit it in that little gap, so that's nothing. You can, however, put one there. Block that. Block that, fill that. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. One. Was it one, two, three, four? Zero. Okay, one, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, we are up in the corners now. Here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. That's that three done. One, two, three, four. Block that in. Alrighty then. That's a one, that's a one. Two can't go there. One, two, zero, one, zero. Okay, I'm going to assume it goes there. Eh. That's the one, definitely the one. Problem is, is that is that the two or is that the other one? We don't know for sure because the two could go there. Either way, that's definitely empty, so yeah, okay, that's, that accounts for that. Definitely a two, which means that's definitely a one, which means that you can fill those two in, which means you can fill that one in. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Mm. Loud banging again from the upstairs neighbours. Assume that's the two, and we can assume one, two, three, four. That has to be. Finalize, 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 finalize. Okay, this entire left half of the grid is also done. We are literally just in this, this top nine here. Top nine. 
and hmm. Whew. Yep. 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 There has to be a gap there since there are no threes. That means that has to be a two. That is definitely empty, and that is definitely full, and that is a block. And these two are definitely filled in. That is definitely blocked there. That is there. Hmm. That is there. There, that is definitely filled in there. That is done. That is done. That's definitely that. That is that. That column is done. That row is done. row is all done. That column is done. Oh shit, we've got a problem. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. We've got a problem, we've got a problem. Oh no, please don't. Okay, that is full, that is done. That is done. That is done. Done. That is done. Fill that in. That's done. That's done. Oh my god, we are so close. Please don't tell me there's a floor somewhere in it. Now, that would be awful. And oh my god, there is. Oh my god. This is not okay. Oh my fucking Christ. Yep. Look, look at this. We can't. <laughs> We're down to the last fucking thing. That's done. I can't. I can't put that in. Putting the the top of the two in this corner violates. That unless unless that goes there, unless that goes there, then that solves that problem. Oh my god, oh, oh. Is some, sometimes it can be so difficult to problem shoot a, you know, an incorrect square in a Picross um, puzzle, especially one this massive. I'm just hoping that is... Yeah, we're done. We're done. Ah, Kabuki actor. Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and as you can see in the bottom right corner of the HUD, you can see the, the game has acknowledged that we used uh, two methods of assistance, both the roulette and the, the probability highlighter. Whereas the first one I did with absolutely no assistance at all. That's the last of it. I'm not doing any more. This video is already long enough. Two hours of Picross would um, be more than enough Picross for most sane people. So I'm going to leave you here. Uh, I'm hoping this was kind of relaxing for you. It got a little bit intense there near the end. Um, 
less intense, more 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 just in patience. Um, yeah. Anyway, that is Picross. I love Picross puzzles. They are probably my favourite form of puzzle game. And I highly recommend it if you haven't played them before. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me. I am the Real Blue Dragon, and uh, stay safe. <laughs>